The dark comedy drama My Being Unreasonable on Hulu centers on the friendship of two women who are going through a difficult time. Nick and Jen first become friends on their disdain of the same kind of women, but they soon learn about each other's private secrets. Despite their close relationship, Jen still has a few topics she can't truly discuss. The viewer learns all of her secrets in the last episode, exposing how much darker things had been all along. The unexpected turn forces viewers to reevaluate what they've seen thus far in the program. Here, we analyze the conclusion and explain its significance for Nick, Jen, and other characters on the show. Spoilers alert! Am I being unreasonable plot synopsis? Nick lost the love of her life. She is lonely and stuck in a marriage she had been planning to leave a year after the anniversary of his passing. She struggles to maintain her sanity in a world that is becoming more and more annoying as the death of her partner haunts her. Jen, who looks to be the kind of buddy Nick needs, brings sanity to the situation. One night, after having a mental breakdown, Nick tells Jen about the relationship and how she has never told anybody else about it. Nick is unaware of Jen's secrets, which if discovered will terminate their friendship. Jen has a tendency to become fixated on women, especially ones she feels might use her assistance, it turns out. Jen decides to expose Nick's husband Dan after learning that he dates other women on Tinder. She runs the danger of revealing her own truth, though, in the process. Am I being unreasonable ending? Did Nick kill Alex? We initially meet Nick and Alex at a train station in the opening sequence of the first episode. Snow is falling, and a lovely atmosphere permeates the area. They appear to be quite in love since Alex begins to kiss Nick as Nick boards the train and the doors begin to close. His coat gets caught in the door because he fails to take a step back. At first, they laugh it off, but then the train begins to move. The train stops after Alex pulls the emergency plug, but before anything can be done for Alex, another train runs over him and kills him. Even as it is, this incident is terrible, and throughout the program, Nick is plagued by the memory of seeing Alex hooked to the train door. It initially seems to be the trauma of witnessing a loved one pass away in front of them. But the concluding episode makes clear that Nick was tormented by remorse. It didn't snow that night, and Nick and Alex weren't in a relationship. Since Nick's wedding to Alex's older brother, Dan, they had been having an affair. In his humorous speech at the wedding, Alex made light of his envy of Dan, who was the family favorite, excelled in everything, and received the family business. It bothered him greatly that Dan was obviously in a far better financial situation than Alex. Dan was hated by him, and he wanted to ruin at least one aspect of his life. His marriage was the simplest to pick apart. He intended to harm Dan, so he had an affair with Nick. Then one day he learns that Dan has already been having an affair with Nick. Dan gives Alex a photo of a young woman he estimates to be 25 but is actually younger. He had gone on a date with her after meeting her on Tinder. Dan has already damaged Alex's marriage, Alex knows. He and Nick are no longer in love, so he is going on Tinder dates. For Alex and his wife Susie, things have been going well in the interim. They intend to become parents. Nick learns of this and is indignant and devastated. Alex promises her that they would leave soon, but he later disappears. Alex is confronted by Nick at the train station and asked when they will flee together. He admits to her that he never had feelings for her. All this time, he had been playing around with her in an effort to embarrass his brother. He was done with it all and wanted to give his family his whole attention. He wanted a child with Susie so that he could devote his life to them. He no longer desired to interact with Nick. Nick finds himself on the train while Alex is outside during the talk. Nick grabs hold of Alex's coat as the doors are about to close, and they become caught on the door. Nick is astounded by her action when the train starts to move. She ponders whether she should intervene to halt the train immediately or let the situation play out. When she finally decides, another train passes and Alex is murdered. The only thing left of him is a piece of his coat that got lodged inside the locomotive. With her sorrow over killing him, Nick takes it and keeps it in her coat pocket. Who are the boy and the girl Nick hallucinates? Nick is plagued not only by visions of Alex in his final moments but also by a young pair who appear everywhere. They don't appear to anybody else, but she notices them in the park, on the street outside her house, in the wedding film, and at Alex's grave. Nick questions whether she is possessed and whether the young couple are ghosts. In the end, it becomes clear that she is plagued and that the marriage is a representation of her guilt. Nick makes the decision to recall events in a new way after being traumatized by her acts that caused Alex's death. It's not truly her and Alex in the first scene when we see them having romantic moments. Alex did write Christmas on the snow, but he avoided stooping to pick up a scent. Nick wasn't invited to see him at home and take a bath. Everything took place between the young couple. Nick learned that Alex didn't love her that evening, and they were the only people present. The incident was only seen by them and no one else on the train. Nick getting Alex's coat stuck on the doors caused the pair to giggle since they assumed it was simply an adult game. When the train moved, they weren't prepared for things to become dark, and Nick did nothing. His initial astonished and alarmed looks at Nick were immediately replaced by their smiles. She was haunted by their looks. The couple did not report Nick despite having witnessed the entire incident. Or at the very least, they didn't divulge enough for her to be detained for murder. Nick avoided going to jail, but she was still plagued by her own guilt, which occasionally manifested as the trained couple, the only witnesses to what actually transpired that evening. 
Well, Nick and Dan get a divorce. Nick and Dan's marriage had been finished for a while, but neither of them had the courage to tell the other that. All this time, Nick had been in love with Alex and had no recollection of her husband. Dan had also been exploring elsewhere for romance and pleasure at this time. Even though he was married, he used Tinder and frequently went on dates with women who were much younger than him. Jen tries to inform Nick about this after learning it. She is unaware that Nick knew about it years ago, though. When her husband sent Alex the photo of a potential date, she knew he was a Tinder user. She remained silent because she anticipated leaving with Alex soon enough. Making a big deal out of something that wouldn't matter in the near future was pointless. But when she learned Alex's true feelings, everything changed, and he died. Nick was now trapped in her marriage. She had nowhere else to go, and even if she had decided to flee alone, she would have had to leave her kid behind. When Dan forces Nick to choose between Jen and him in the end, Nick's genuine sentiments are finally made clear. The day before Alex's memorial, Dan is sure Jen is up to some nefarious prank with him and Nick. But things are different for his wife. Nick and Jen have reconciled their differences. As a result, she is the only person Nick feels comfortable sharing her darkest secrets with. When it becomes apparent that she is more devoted to Jen than to Dan, he also loses interest in being with her. By the finale, Dan had relocated to his mother's home and expressed his profound dissatisfaction with his marriage. Given everything, it appears that there is nothing else to be done to save their marriage, and they will file for divorce. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more.